uh, to an astonishing story that is so 2023. Yes, there are, honestly, the Museum of Pop Culture in Seattle has an exhibition of Harry Potter memorabilia, but has airbrushed out its author, J.K. Rowling, airbrushed her out from its Hall of Fame because it says it disagrees with her view that trans women are actually still men. It calls this super hateful and divisive, and so has scrubbed her, airbrushed her out. And that is from a museum, Esther? Yes, it's incredible. Um, I, I, it's important to note that this museum is in Seattle, which is probably one of the most liberal cities on the planet. Um, so it's understandable that the people that work in this establishment would, would hold such views. But it's very clear that the hysteria and the hatred that's, and the vitriol that's been to, um, aimed at, uh, you know, J.K. Rowling just shows how irrational, you know, the people that oppose her are. This is a woman who herself has been a victim of domestic violence and has spoken up for women on, on numerous occasions. There are clearly inconsistencies with trying to force the public and public policy to, to conform with this idea that you can change your gender just by feeling it, um, which is, is completely ludicrous. And, you know, you have to, you have to admire her bravery because this, this airbrushing of, of this woman, effectively trying to deperson her and to erase her from the history books, even though they have, they have uh, you know, an exhibition dedicated to her work, which is Harry Potter, is ludicrous. <laughs> and it just shows how ideologically inconsistent uh, th these people are. Well, it makes you wonder what the new edition of Harry Potter books come out without an author on the on the cover. I mean, it's just so stupid. Uh, and I guess all these people in this popular Hall of Fame, you know, popular culture Hall of Fame, must be saints. <laughs> I wonder who qualifies. Meanwhile, in Britain, Esther, the Great Western Railway uh, has banned a website of a group that holds J.K. Rowling's same opinions, you know, like uh, uh, about transgender issues. I said it was linked to terrorism and hate, so you couldn't look it up if you were uh, riding the rails there. I mean, seriously, Esther, what's going on? Yeah, so apparently this website that, that aims to, to clarify, uh, you know, sex in public policy at the very least ha, ha, was, was, un, was inaccessible for, for people riding on the Great Western Rail. Um, now, the company is saying that their AI technology blocked it because of its references to sex. But apparently when, when passengers tried to access it, it was, it was flagged as a hate and terrorist um, organization website. Um, so there's, in, there's inconsistencies there. Um, clearly, you know, GWR has a lot of work to do to contact the suppliers and find out what is going on. But, you know, it's the reality is that these people that are being flagged up as some sort of terrorists for not conforming to the idea that men can change their sexes and women can change their sexes <laughs> is completely ludicrous. There are real-life consequences for these things, and we have to start addressing them. Oh, absolutely. Once you start labelling people terrorists, then, uh, you know, people who are against their views are entitled to take very extreme measures against them, aren't they? But honestly, whether it's the railway or whoever designed the algorithms for the AI, the artificial intelligence thing that picked it up, someone's playing funny buggers with free speech. I don't know, Esther, you know, you cover this a whole lot with your writings and, and on your Twitter account and everything. Do you feel we're winning or losing? I think this is probably the breaking point. I think this issue of, of you know, self-identification and forcing people to, to believe what they don't want to believe, I think that's what's going to be people's breaking point. You know, often people that are about, you know, for this whole gender ideology thing say it's about tolerance and respect, but they don't seem tolerant or respectful for people that will never believe that a man can become a woman. And, and so that's where really, you know, the sticking point is. Uh, the reality is, the repercussions of having men in, in women's refuges or women's prisons and, and in women's sports. It's just becoming too much and people are realising how ludicrous this movement is.